What is up, awesome people? And welcome back to a very overdue viewer appreciation video. Radio, so I can't remember the last time I did one of these, but this is very overdue because I was going to be doing this um, a little bit after Flashfire was released, which was the 15th of this month, I'm pretty sure. But we've had a lot of technical difficulties on my side as far as the client is um, concerned. I know I was going to do this a couple of days ago, but the shop went down unfortunately, and then the client didn't want to load for me for some strange reason. I was having glitches everywhere, and finally, um, after a lot of time, it's back. Oh, about, I reckon, almost two weeks or a week after Flash Fire's been released, I can finally get on and do the viewer appreciation episode. I can also do the Flash Fire openings on here as well. And um, for those who have tuned into my channel quite recently, in the last day or today, you would know that there's been some Flash Fire openings in real life gone up as well. Um, I did, pulled quite a lot of good cards, actually. I missed 11 out of the actual collection, and I missed all three secret arts, of course. So I missed 14 in total for Flash Fire. Which is actually really good because 106 in that collection with three secret rares. So overall performance was actually really good. All right, so I'm digressing. Let's get on to the viewer appreciation episode and let's do our very um, appreciative shout outs to two people. Um, this is going to be split into two episodes again because I have quite a lot of cards, uh, codes from one person. And I think they're mostly for Flashfire too, which is really awesome. Um, that person is definitely really awesome because I actually got given these codes a day after Flashfire was released and I hadn't even got them in Australia yet. Um, it hasn't even come out here in Australia yet from where I live. I know it's come out in a few other places, but just in my specific location, Flashfire has not come out yet. So um, I'm pretty lucky I ordered it online. Anyways, the first person we're giving a shout out to has been on the series already and I think they're on the last two episodes and that is Matt Waters. He has given me from the top of my head, I think he's given me X and Y. So I got these codes before Flashfire came out. I oh, know they're um, legendary treasures. I was close enough. Right, so we redeemed those two, and I have yet to do the legendary treasures booster packs that I've got as of yet. And of course, we're going to have a bit of a loading time because the client has been dumb. Um, so I'm going to have to go to my collection. If I find anything that's not working, I will scream. Yay! I've got a Boundaries Cross that I got this just today before recording, actually, from logging in. Um, so I've got two of these. Hopefully I'm not going to have a big loading time because... Oh, here we go. Because I would rage. Alright, so the first one we're getting Zora, Rolt, Solus, Trubish, Cherubi, Plusle, Teddy Ursa, and Fallout Reshiram from the Radiant Collection. Vizion, Reverse Holo, and Tan Growth as the rare for that one. And the last one that we were given is... Oshawott, Solus, we have Swaddle, Tepi, Carnivine, Gabite, and from the Radiant Collection we have Curlia and Fallout Meloetta, EX, and from back to the normal collection we have Superior, Reverse Hollow, and we have a Chandelure EX as our rare for that pull. Alright, sweet, so that was from Matt Waters, and again thank you so much for all the codes that you've donated, you've actually donated quite a lot of codes to me um, for this series, which is really cool. And the other person I have to say thanks to is a YouTuber by the name of PokeKid88. Now these codes were sent to me through Facebook, which is really cool because a lot of people um, forget I've got a Facebook page you can send stuff to. Alright, so these are all Flashfire codes as far as I'm concerned. There may be a few X and Y ones in there from what I can remember. So I'm going to just copy and paste a few of them and then uh, do the rest of the codes in another episode because I don't want to drag these out too much. Alright, so I've got a lot of flash fire going here, which is awesome. So I'm just going to claim these ones because I don't want my client freezing either. That's another thing that happens unfortunately. Alright, so I'm going to redeem these ones and I probably should delete the ones that I've redeemed. So I don't have a problem of redeeming ones that have already been redeemed. Right, so Flashfire. These are the first times I've opened up the booster packs for Flashfire on my client. So this is going to be really cool. Let's see what the first one gives me. A loading screen. Yes, that's like exactly what I wanted. Yay! And at the same time, my breakfast is like going yum, 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 eat me. Oh. And yeah, I'm in the middle of breakfast at the moment. I kind of just skipped breakfast and started recording. I've got it sitting here in front of me. And for those who are wondering what my breakfast is, I know this is so entertaining, but it's actually pizza. I know, the most healthiest thing I could ever have for breakfast. Alrighty, so we're slowly getting a load. We have Spritzy, we have Spiel, 
Uh, we have Fortress as a rare. It took me a while to get that in real life, actually. It's a, one of the two medals from this collection. Uh, so Spritzies, Spiel. We're still waiting for the other ones. I probably should have went um, just before and loaded the collection, which I'm pretty sure I did, but I must have to redo it again since the other update I've done. We have Kruger Rock. We're slowly getting it. We got Starling Megaphone. I didn't actually look at what this did. I'm pretty sure. The Scuttle Pokemon Trainer, the Pokemon Tool cards attached to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Okay, that's actually pretty handy. I know which deck that can counter pretty well. Which would be, happen to be the Trubish deck. Uh, we have Saphir, so it's got Ice Ball, 70 health. Uh, Spritzy is a fairy type with 50 health. Fairy Wind doing base damage. A 10 base with fairy energy required. And Fickle Attack. 30 damage requires one fairy energy, one energy card of your type. Flip a coin, if tails, that attack does nothing. Uh, we have Fortress, who of course is the rare and as I said, one of two metal types. It's a metal card. Ability is Thorn Tempest. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may put one damage counter on each of your opponent's Pokemon, which is a okay with me actually. An Iron Crush, which does base 20 damage, requires two energy cards of any type. This attack does 20 more damage for each. Um, star in each of your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. So if they're an EX card with like a bloody retreat cost of 5 or something, that would be doing 100 damage. But usually retreat cost is pretty low in most cards, unless they're really powerful cards. Um, Crooker Rock, as I said, this isn't as good as the one I've got in my Dark deck. 90 health, Dark Clamp is his first move with 10 damage, requires a divine Dark Energy. The defending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. And Double Swings does base 60 damage, requires 1 Dark Energy and 2 Energy cards of any type. Flip 2 Coins, the attack does 60 damage times the number of heads, which can be quite risky. And oh my god, nothing else is loaded! Oh my goodness! Come on, let's just load up the other cards, and I swear to god next episode I will um, load up all the cards before we go into this. So as I said, I I have done it, but it's just not recognising that at the moment. This is probably the slowest I've ever seen it load. I must have a little bit of pineapple because I'm starving. Oh, here we go. Lit Leo with Combustion, 60 damage requires 2 fire energy, 1 energy card of any type requires 70 health. We have Binnacle, 70 health, fighting card, its only move is Double Scratch which does 30 base damage, requires 2 fighting energy, flip 2 coins, the attack does 30 damage times the number of heads. We have Geodeer which does which has 60 health, has rollout, but 10 damage, requires 1 fighting energy, and Flower with base 10 damage, requires 2 energy cards of any type. This attack does 10 times the number of damage counters on this Pokemon, so the more damage counters, the better damage they're going to do. We have Maractus with 90 health. Uh, it's got Exciting Shape, which requires one Grass Energy. During your next turn, flip six coins instead of two for this Pokemon's Prickle Needles attack. And Prickle Needles attack, which does base 20 damage, requires two energy cards of any type. Flip two coins, this attack does 20 damage times the number of heads. And the last card is Luxio with 80 health. It has Bite, which does 20 damage and one electric card needed, and its last move is Electro Counter, uh, Electric Counter, which does 40 base damage, requires two electric energy cards and one energy card of any type. This attack does 40 damage times the number of prize cards your opponent has taken. Right, so that's the first one, so I know the way of getting around all those loading bars. Oh, look at that, most of them are loaded this time. Yes! Uh, we have... Hibbler Tile, which does, uh, has 60 health, its first move is Pound with 10 damage, requires 1 electric energy, and Destructive Beam, which needs 1 electric energy, 1 energy card of any type. Flip a coin if has this card and energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon, which is pretty handy. And we have Jiddu again, we have um, C Dot, which has 50 health, and its only move is Call for Family, which requires any 1 energy card of any type. Search your deck for a basic Pokemon, put it in your bench, shuffle your deck afterwards. So this is pretty handy in any deck, to be honest. Um, we have Panita, 60 health, first move is Agility, which has 10 damage, requires 1 fire energy. Flip a coin if heads prevent all effects and attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. And Flame Tower, which does 20 damage, requires 2 energy cards of any type. Uh, we have Sneasel, which has 60 health, first move is Icy Wind, requires 1 energy card of any type. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. And Scratch, which does 20 damage, 1 Dark Energy, 1 energy card needed uh, for Scratch. We have Avalog, 130 health. Its first move is Frost Barrier, which does 40 damage. One water energy and two energy cards needed of any type. During your opponent's next turn, any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks reduced by 20 after applying weakness and resistance. 
and its last move is Shadow, which does 90 damage, two water and two energy cards needed of any type. Discard any stadium card in play. We have Rapidash, which does 90 damage. Quite um, its first move is Agility, requires uh, does blah blah blah. I have to stuff myself. Uh, does 20 damage, requires one fire energy card. Flip a coin and pair to prevent all effects of um, attack. Attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. And Overrun, which does 40 damage, requires two energy cards of any type. This attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Do not apply weakness and resistance. We have Sacred Ash, shuffle five Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. And the reverse holo is Draglidge, which has 100 health. Ability is Poison Barrier, po your opponent's Poison Pokemon cannot retreat. And Poison Breath, which does 60 damage, requires one water, one psychic, and energy card of any type. Flip a coin, it pairs your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. And Luxray, 140 health. Its first move is Spank Snipe, which does 40 damage, one electric energy, and one energy card of any type required. Your opponent reveals his or her hand, discard a trainer card if you find there. And Wild Charge, which does 120 damage, requires 2 electric energy, 1 energy card of any type. This Pokemon does 30 damage to itself. Right, um, I might actually leave the other 4 for the other episodes, and in the meantime, I will probably just redeem the other codes in the other episode as well, because we might be doing a bit of a long run with things not loading and me having to read them, which is really annoying. Um, but regardless, that's it for this episode, so a big thank you to Matt Waters for the first two cards he donated, which was two Legendary Treasures, and to PokeKid88, I think it was, PokeKid88 from YouTube for the codes that he's donated, and I will go through the other codes that he's donated in the next episode. So until then, this is Lady Crimson, and again saying a big thank you to those two people, and saying ciao for now. And I shall catch you guys in the following episode for viewer appreciation for the remainder of the codes for Flashfire. And I think, as I said, there's a few X and Y in there. Ciao!